In the last video, we got rid of one of our to-dos by implementing the functionality that allows a user to type in a planet name they want to visit. In this video, we're going to look at the other to-do where a user chooses to randomly select a planet. And so to do that, we have to implement some sort of random number generator. And what we'll probably do is we'll look at that array of planets and we'll find a random number between zero and the length of the number of planets and then address that planet by subscript, so with the, the square brackets. So let's go ahead and do that. And the function that generates random numbers in Swift is called arc for random underscore uniform, which is a very, very long function name. So let's go ahead and go back to Xcode, and let's take out these two print functions here. And let's implement that functionality. So let's go ahead and First, we're going to assign an upper boundary for our variable. So we'll say let upper bound equal planetary system dot planets dot count. So we're going to let the, the top number, uh, so we're going to go from zero to a random number, and that top number will be the number of planets in our planetary system. And then we're going to let the index, so the, the planet index that's chosen, maybe I'll write this code out and then we'll kind of go through it piece by piece. Int arc for random, oh, looks like i got to type it in me, I got one close. Arc for random underscore uniform. And then UI int 32 upper bound. So that's a lot of, that's a jam packed line. So go ahead, let's go ahead and look at that piece by piece. Let's start with the inside. So this arc for random takes an U int 32, it's an unsigned integer as a type. It can't just take a regular integer, it has to take a U. I uh, uint 32. And an unsigned integer, 32, is a 32 bit integer, which means it holds numbers from about 0 to about 4 billion. If it were just an int 32, uh, not unsigned, it could hold numbers from negative 2 billion to positive 2 billion. So we're going to use ours unsigned because it's positive. But the arc for random function has to take a ui int 32 as a parameter. However, for index, we need just a regular integer. So when we address our array or subscript our array, we need a regular integer. So we convert it back to an int by putting the whole line in parentheses. So the arc for random is going to take a number from 0 to the upper boundary, convert it to an integer, and then assign that value to index. Okay, so we're going to get a random number from 0 to the number of planets. And then we're going to call our visit function. And we're going to do planetary system dot planets and then bracket index. That's going to select the planet. But remember, the function wants a planet name, so we have to do the, we have to address the property. So we're going to do name. And that should satisfy the visit method. We're giving it the name of a random planet. Let's go ahead and run that. Succeeding. Go ahead and get the console. I'm going to put yes this time. So it's going to pick a random planet. And it arrived at Neptune. Let's run it one more time and see if it gives me another random planet. And it does. So our function appears to be working correctly. So one of the things we need to think about is what would happen if our array of planets was empty? If, for example, we had not initialized any planets yet. So let's go ahead and, and do that. We're going to actually comment out the append. We're appending each planet to our planetary array. 
and I'm going to highlight them all and hit command and then forward slash and you can see they're all commented out. Well, let's go ahead and run that and see what happens. So command R. It says there are zero planets to explore. Put in my name. I'll put yes to randomly choose a planet. And you can see we got a fatal error array index out of range. That means I was trying to loop over an array or pick an index of an empty array, or I did, I tried to address a value more than the length of the array. And that's when you'll get that error. So clearly that doesn't work if my array is empty. So in the next video, we're going to try to write some code that will take care of that error.